the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics on V103. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, time for the good and bad of being a celebrity. That's what this trending topic is about. Let's start with Beyonce. Start on a good note. This lady's expected to move 600,000 first week. 600,000 first week with an album that nobody knew about like to the day of. Um, she sneaked it on the iTunes early Friday morning, late Thursday night. According to Billboard, the self-titled release sold over 430,000 copies on day one. And apparently, you got to remember, usually people have a whole week for their first week, like Tuesday to Tuesday. Hers came out Friday, and she's still going to move 600,000 units, we're told. That will be the biggest debut sales week from a female artist all year, the biggest week from a female, period, since Taylor Swift's Red debuted with 1.2 million last year. Shout out to Beyonce. Um, Let's see. Who else do we want to talk about? The homie Chris Brown, ladies and gentlemen, a Los Angeles judge will address Chris Brown's probation status today. The trouble singer is due in court today to hear the results of a supplemental report over the alleged probation of a violation stemming from an October fight in D.C. The fight resulted in a charge of misdemeanor assault. Chris is currently spending 90 days confined to a residential rehab facility uh, for anger management. We'll keep you posted on how that turns out. Uh, let's see. What else to talk about? Chloe and Lamar. Well, she filed them papers. She has uh, filed a petition to divorce the NBA star Lamar Odom using uh, irreconcilable differences for the split. They both signed a prenup, keeping their property separate before tying a knot. Chloe's petition does not request spousal uh, support and asks that Lamar not be granted any either. And she's not wasting any time finding a new man, rumor has it. The same day she filed for divorce, she was spotted out with baseball star Matt Kemp. Damn, Chloe. <laughs> the two were photographed heading to the gym in L.A. Maybe they're just working out together. But it's not the first time Chloe spent time with Rihanna's ex-boo. They attended a Drake concert together in late November and a John Legend concert earlier this month. Kemp has been, uh, spent time at the Kardashian home and uh, as evidence, he recently posted a photograph of the Kardashian Christmas tree on Instagram. Wow. Y'all people paying a lot of attention. And last but not least, the homie Wale uh, did not take too kindly to being snubbed on Complex Magazine's Top 50 Albums of 2013. Um, he reportedly told the writer taking, uh, taking his call to say that the snub wasn't personal. It was just a bold-faced lie. He also pointed out he's been omitted from every type of list that Complex ever put out. He even questioned whether or not the editors really believed that Juicy J's album, Stay Trippy, which ranked number 27, was better than his. He actually even threatened some people at the office. Let's listen to Wale spaz out. I think, you, I think you think I'm a fucking idiot, dog. Because y'all always do this shit. How the fuck you mean to tell me my outfit ain't, ain't, ain't in the top 50 of that? That's what you, that's what you believe? Or, or, or if you saw me in the street, would you be like, oh, dude, I think you, oh, shit, man. Y'all think you're I might be on the next call. In any case, that's going to do it for the trending topics. Thank you for tuning in and turning up, ladies and gentlemen. If you missed any part of this, please head on over to v-103.com where you can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can see me with I don't want no problems face. Okay? Stay tuned in and turned up. More Big Ticket Show. A special guest in studio and Big Ticket's blessings all on the way next on V103.